Hey, what's up, YouTube? I just thought I'd get a pretty good shot, a good shot of this too for you. The fucking highway. I'm on my way to from the Berkshires down to Boston. Um, just really unbelievable, just majestic, huh? Got me kind of thinking, pondering on the firmament. How sometimes on the stuff you see these rockets hit this this point. It's almost just like a hard shell of a point or something. Maybe it's our density. Maybe it's the as above, so below. It's like our reflection in the sky. You know, they tell you in this community to kind of look at um, the sky as your reflection. Um, so I've been trying to, like, relate to all of that. Um, the, uh... Like, you know, how they say everything's, like, really nothing, you know? It's all an illusion, like the density and solidity of things. Like, you should be able to put push your hand right through a, a wall or a piece of, you know, anything that's physical. You should be able to pass anything. Things can pass through each other. We're just seeing the vibration and the frequency and the order that we've given to things. So there's like a perception. Yeah, you fucking hate this guy. People drive too fast, man, on this highway. And I'm doing 80 miles an hour, and this guy's up my ass. Enjoy your death when you uh, lose control, guy. You lose control at 90 miles an hour on uh, icy road. Lean in for a good time. I've been in a car that's out of control, you know. It's I believe people should take classes and go race and be experienced with that because they don't know what it's like when your car hits a slide and, you know, that feeling of just waiting for it to come to a stop, seeing a ditch or a tree in front of you. Um, I've been in those situations, and... Um, it feels good to take hold and be in the moment and pump those brakes and stop just in time or something. Um, feels good when you, you do come close to screwing up and, and you uh, and you do catch it in time. So, you know, there is a you know, it makes you think that that thrill of being alive that that um, all the things that we put ourselves through. That's why we try to hold on to this love thing. People say that one love is all one. We're in a fractal world and it is all one. It's all the light. Amidst an eternal and infinite sea of darkness. I've heard that it's the bearer of light is the father of all lies. All that is is nothing. It's like the shine in a pool. Like 
So you gotta think of that because you see water, right? And you see a basin of water, a uh, body of water, and uh, there's usually a color to it, but you know, I look at it as like a basinless body of water. So if you're with me, if you can ride out for this, it's like a basinless body of water, right? And there's no color. It's just this clear, the spirit, right? And then these vibrations within the spirit create these ripples that interact with each other and have a nodal point of origin. It's like a reverberation of the original vibration that's vibrating the whole thing. If you take a body of water and vibrate at different frequencies, you're going to get different shapes and different designs. Might even be able to get a, just a perfectly distributed evenly, but a little divots of where the, the nodal um, reverberations, can, you're going to see a physical representation of that. And each one of those points is like us experiencing each other but we're all part of one vibration it's just being contained within the spirit so there's many different different uh, perspectives and so these things move into different shapes depending upon the changes in the frequencies we go through our lives shifting our frequencies and our vibration and all the different unknown aspects and def de definitive um, fractalizations and, and of that that you can define and make it like a definitive classification of certain resonance and frequencies underlying uh, different, you know it's like music there's different steps keys and then you have your scales within the different keys and steps and, uh, it's amazing you know so it's like this it's like a song that's like, if we were the word, it'd be like a singer on stage that opens his mouth to sing and nothing comes out. He puts out a vibration that you can't hear until it hits the mic. And when it hits the mic is when it decides to have what vibration, sound, and frequency and all that. That's like what God is. Like, it's you. It's a part of you that's divine and free and sovereign and um, all-powerful, wise, and um, even when when you're going through this world question sometimes, you know, when it gets real bad, are you, is, sometimes it's us just testing ourselves, pushing ourselves further and further down, um, sharpening, grinding away at it trying to own something in, you know, something about it, you know, it's sad that some people get stuck in just living in that, the whole life is just grinding away without ever actually achieving the benefits of it, maybe they will reap that in the, in the next life, probably, um, if, if they ha if they ha go on to an, a an afterlife, um, Maybe they just come back and live it again and do it over again and try to snap out of it. Um, I believe it's like, you know, everything is corresponding, so it's beautiful when you understand the principles and the, um, that's why I went into this stuff and started experimenting because I wanted to know 
I, I was curious about how flipping my paradigms around and upside down and relearning everything would affect my life. And, you know, you wonder about things and you never get to really experience it. So I figured there's a lot I can get out of this. And I, and I was right, you know. Everything has changed for me. Everything. My whole understanding of life. And it doesn't even matter if it's true or not. Because you have to understand where you came from to know where you're going. So how can you find a direction and develop and grow and live and, and love and be in life if, if you don't, if you're just told what, uh, told what type of understanding to have on the world when you didn't get a chance to pick, you know, and that's the trouble with all, um, you know, when we try to educate, we go with like a, the first mistake is picking a general line of education and not looking at any information as learning. It's up to the person, and they excel more when they decide what they are interested in, what they want to study, what calls them to put their energy into, what resonates with them. You get so much more of a... Um, so much better of the yield. Judge people by their fruits. Um, judge things by their fruits. You know, like, I don't do anything special in my life. I, uh, for me, it's special. It's not special to anybody else. Um, there's a beauty and a wonder and an excitement and, and the curiosity that I have for the arts and, and the passion and love and, and sacrifice and, and also the journey of, 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 the, of coming to know your own creation and understanding. Um, you know, that's the thing about great artists. They... they they're, they're just giving it all away. They're giving it all up. And they're following where the where the spirit is taking them. They're putting their they're throwing their, their their will to God. And that's why they're selling their soul to Satan stuff happens because it's an imitation when you've got all that stuff planned out how to manipulate people start a, a, a trend and all these fake manipulative stuff. That's why some things have so much they catch on and it's like so much it catches on like fire. Sorry, I had to check if the thing was running. It, you know, some things just catch on like wildfire and they try to manipulate it and spin off, get what they can out of it because they can't stop the knowledge and the, and the love and the reception from the public to something. So they, they, they hide it by getting all of that out of it. So the message is flipped around and upside down and inverted on, on totally flipped and inverted principles. Um, and that's how the confusion is created in the public with, like, pop culture. So, you know, even though there is corruption, I don't believe, is there total corruption somewhere in something? Uh, now, that's where it comes to the whole absolute Absolute power corrupts absolutely, or something. What was it? Power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Something like that. Probably other non-verbatim um, quotes on that particular 
concept. And what it is is like, just like we don't un come to know and understand these things. We like just running around, keep like society itself running around all these principles and, and concepts and, and shit, and it's just a fuck fest of confusion and bullshit. People just looking at what's popular and what's cool and what people are, are what the dumb dumbs are buying. Because the dum-dums decide who's the most powerful, and that's why they're always out to deceive you. Because those people are so divine and humble that they're so willing to just give away their power. Because they don't want it. They're not, they're, they're like the opposite of corrupt. Uh, you know, they have no knowledge about the power they really have, you know. That's how they trick you into that instant gratification. Because um, there's that eternal moment that we live in, but life is the collaboration of all those infinite here and now moments that only last for a brief moment, and it's all put together and that's how we get time and life and experience this thing we call life. Um, so it's more valuable to be able to put your value and your strength and your wisdom and your knowledge and all your riches in the accumulation of all of it to the one and give power to that and that's that godly power but they got it flipped upside down to where that you're in this one moment and the, 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 uh, that, that painful gluttonous moment of me I'm so great right now excess um, you know the excess of, that takes away from the whole thing. It's uneven. The balance isn't there. There has to be the balance because the accumulation is so great and the here and now is so minuscule. It's just these like a second or maybe like a moment, like a minute long. Maybe both. Maybe it's how long you focus and tighten and tense the sides on how big your here and now moments are. They could be a second or they could be a minute. That's why minutes, seconds, moments. You know, the, the word play and the way that the gematria, gematria and uh, that's behind the, the, the numerical values, and the way they de decode um, language like that is unbelievable. These are the true sciences, guys. Any one of them should not be idolized and worshipped. Any one thing should not be idolized and worshipped. There shouldn't be science. There is only the true science says. And see, I'm able to understand these great wisdoms and knowledge um, because I, I, I reprogrammed myself and came to understand the principles and the concepts and the structures of all that and how things are working. And how, not so much how things are working, because that's obvious and that's the trap we fall in is the obvious way things work instead of how people benefit off just passion and, and like, find providence by just doing what you love and, and things happen and you know you end up generating income or um, just a life like even just getting by a social you know structure and like like being able to make something out of it and get through life in some kind of way it doesn't have to be monetary if somebody will feed you for playing them a song I consider that like an example of it that's what I'm saying my thought 
<clears throat> process is just constantly deep like that. And I have to take breaks from it. Because everyone and most people that you're dealing with on a day-to-day, -day, speaking for myself only, is like, they're not on that level. They're not thinking out of that. They're not, they're not balanced. They're only in that tiny little moment. Instead of thinking about the tiny little moment and being in that and the accumulation of a bunch of quality of, quality of being in those moments and what you can build with that. We're the builders. That's why all that knowledge is encoded and it's teaching you. And that's why masonry, you know, that's why it's important to study everything and not shun things. And you know, it literally says it in the Bible. So, like, you know, you, can, you know, you should be studying into and understanding what a Luciferian is and a Satan, Satanist is, and and what these other things your opposing cultures are. It's okay. Everyone's entitled. Nothing is, you know. Maybe there is pure evil and pure good, but then everything in between that is not pure evil or pure good. It's a mixture of the two. You're, it's up to you with your discernment to find the balance in that. But really, it's just your own self pulled apart and fractalized so you can you're in there. We're in like this. I understand it. It's hard to articulate it. That's why we're split into like this masculine and feminine. Taking the one true clean um, holy, pure, I don't even want to say it like, no, 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 just this, this unfractalized white light or something. And then it fractalizes and then you have your spectrum of, of what, seven colors. And then music is similar. It's, it's, um, Art and music, music is very important in life. In culture, I believe, art and music. Um, well, I mean, like visual art and music. Um, playing with the order in that. Truth community. I don't know. My feed on YouTube has been garbage. The truth community is pretty censored now. Um, so I'm taking this drive, and I'm pretty bored now. I'm at a loss for words. So I guess I'll cut the video short. Um, so that was a little bit of my, you know, where I'm at from time to time, kind of meditating, pondering on those thoughts. Um, but I kind of let my brain shut down to open those things up. So I'm not trying to think of those things. Those things are coming in from when I'm shutting down. To gain these, these insights by not, by letting them come in. And that's when you know it's true and pure and, and not a deception. You know, the key is for all of us to empower ourselves. Part of, uh, it, it all comes down to one little switch. It's whether you're going to take responsibility or not. And if you're willing to take the responsibility for your mistakes and own it, and give it to the flesh, give it to Christ and say, oh, that's just a fleshly mistake and I use my godliness and my consciousness, and I can take that and I can and I can correct it and I can make it a habit to be flawless instead of making the habit. That's, uh, a mistake is is a gift to be able to make something flawless. It's, it's 
outlining your flaw, manifesting, and then giving you an opportunity to correct it. Um, life is confusion that can never be understood and solved while you're in the flesh. Um, but all paradoxes can be solved. And that's proven by the, us being alive and they going through death. There's a lot of wisdom and insight you can see in that um, paradox. And how it's, we literally are living in the land of infinite possibility place where all paradoxes can be solved. It might not seem like that. It's we're on the edge of where it can be and it can't be. Uh, we live in, ah, man, it's, it's, it gets so deep. In the, uh, you know, it, I see the Mandela effect communities on the right path. It's hard though, sometimes they really, you know, they're on the edge of slipping sometimes. These people that come out of nowhere and be like trying to attach these, themselves to these bigger stations and stuff. So you gotta be careful with how you're gonna, you know, some people don't even realize, some people don't, re you don't realize how you're censoring yourself But when you're affiliated with somebody else, you know, sometimes you're doing it, you don't even realize it. That's what a collaboration is. Both kind of melding something into one. You know, most of the time that's how it's going to go. Uh, pretty grateful for the Mandela effect in the Flat Earth community, you know, because really not about those things. It's about waking people up, getting people to think. Um, so, I don't know. Still trying to find my way in this life. Um, so I've always been so good at just being a slave, you know, because I knew that I would have to account for the fucking, fucking up part of me by a hard working part. But now I eliminated all the fucking up, and now, you know, I'm getting ahead and ahead and ahead. But one, I want to do more. I want to do more, you know, like I, I'm getting ahead by working just a shit job because I keep everything low and I'm making headway and I'm saving money and I'm doing the right thing and I don't indulge and I'm piling up and making progress but it's not about you could save forever and never become rich is my point and I see that I just keep saving and a couple thousand goes to ten thousand ten thousand twenty thousand like but I want to make I want to do the point of doing any saving or having any yet the point we don't have, a lot of people suffer from poverty and, and the lack of abundance because what I'm suffering with now is the fear of having it, having it, and now the responsibility of doing something with it. I watch people in videos trying to, you know, generate um, passive income. One kid does ATM machines, you know, I'm just looking at ideas for um, something to do to be my own person, you know. I want to play in a band, I've got tons of musical talent, it's just, see, what I'm noticing too, guys, is there's a big part of the world that is, is, is a, our social ability produces our culture, our social culture generates incredible things. When we get together, it gives us these power to create 
I remember when we used to hang out when I was kids, and uh, my best friend grew up in a, in a house where his father played music, and he got taught to play the drums, so he had that going on with his family, and I hung out with him, so I, I taught, taught myself the drums, had him teach, teach me a few things, and got just as good as he did. We were great drummers. Um, the point is, is that happened because I had someone that was willing to be my friend. You know, we don't really stay in touch much anymore, but it's cool, you know, that I had a good friend when I was young. Because I was all, it's hard for people that are themselves. You know, the whole world tells us to be ourselves, be yourself. But when you're yourself, it's hard. People are so engaged in group thinking and there's different types of, some people just want to fit in and be cool and it's like some of us are just, you can't do it even if we try. And it hurt, and it's hard. So there's like a, there's like a group of these geeky antisocial types that just don't, we're not antisocial because we don't like being around people. I just don't want to be around people that don't, aren't having original thought, are regurgitating pop culture shit, are not having an original idea in their head, yet they think they are, and they're very opinionative, and they're, they're regurgitating and reciting these very opinionative, you know, right and left status um, paradigms on very important fucking decisions in our culture, like the abor abortion um, laws, and, and now they're able to abort, like, a fetus right after it's born and stuff like that, like, those are very important and shouldn't, I don't know if it should be um, allowed, it should be allowed to let culture shit affect those decisions, because that's just not, that's different from culture, it's a black and white morality issue, and that's why when they let things slide, it is a slippery slope, it slides into a whole slew of shit that gets out of control, it's a lot of genetically altering people and all the animals and plants, it's just going to fractalize this world, this world is a creation God, and we're going to create fractalized thousands of imitations of it. We're either living, and that gets into like, we are either definitely living in a simulation or living in the world that creates all, the, like, we are the, see, that's where the God, this whole God, like, we simulated, we create simulations that create simulations that create simulations. It's a fractal. It goes deep and deep and deep. The only way to get out is to go in. Yourself. You go out and you're going to continue down the bottom of this pit. But, uh, but that's the romantic love that we have. All that is beautiful, all that is life, it's a lie. Uh, all that is holy, all that is true is black and white. It is yes or no. It is death or life. Denied or accepted. It is the conviction. Um, wow. Wow. The darkness that everything resides in. Like a slick of oil, you see all those swirling colors. That's a, like the world fractal, and all that is is really just this black nothingness, thick, viscous black nothingness goo that, when perturbed by vibration and frequency, reflects the light. Obsidian, that's where we get into, like, these obsidian mirrors. 
that's D2. He thinks a oh, weird thing where to come from. That's spooky, man. Like, what is that? What God is? Staring, it's the light staring off into the darkness. The yin, like, there is just this giant yin yang. That's what it is. That's what the swirling of a galaxy is all this light swirling in darkness. And there's always this balance where there's a subtle conviction of life or death that's just lingering and lying in a bed of this subtle lingering never quite there, life or death. Um, no, are we alive or do we just, are we just as close to thinking we are alive as we can be? Because if we were truly alive, then we would truly die. If there is truly light, then there is truly an afterlife. There is a recession, and there are these ebbs and flows. Ebbs and flows, there is a pulsating of your heart. Um, the sun and the moon is like the ebb and the flow of the pulse of your heart. It's so deep, man, and I get into this. Um, so what's the point? Is there a point to even... The point is just just to be. To, and then, like, that's how I see the, the... The things that collaborate and ring true with these theories that come from... Um, these, like Satanism and Luciferianism and Christianity and all these, these, uh, like indoctrinated type group thing, um, cult society groups, um, You know, like, I, I, Christ is the way, and Christ is the only way. If, um, as long as Christ can be what he needs to be for you, as long as Christ is, as long as Christ is part of you, as long as you are willing to take on the role of Christ, or sacrifice your body. Be willing to understand that your body is has to play the role of Christ for your spirit to transcend. Your body is going to take all the punishment for your sins, so your spirit can go on to the. Your body will take all bumps and bruises so your spirit can move on. See, it's the message. Christ is going to take give all, to, that's, you can't have a heavy heart of all the mistakes that you've made to your body because you know that you knew better. The temptation and the weakness of your flesh pulled you into the lie to the fractal. Um, and what if, like I say, when I, you know, it kind of feels like all of it's the lie. Then. You know, it's, it, that's, what I'm, that's what the trick is. People think, well, some of it's the lie. Or that's, you know, that's the point. That's why the message of, like, we all need to be forgiven because the whole thing is just a lie. There is only light and only darkness.
Now, see, we need to try to understand because a lot of people, there's a lot of understanding about is there only light or is there only darkness? I got a low battery. See, some people believe maybe that there is a only only light but maybe the darkness is a thing the darkness and the light are two separate things there is not only light light simply drives out the darkness maybe there is light and darkness maybe darkness is a thing and light is a thing or is there only light Things to think about, people. <laughs> Lots of deep things to think about. Um, I'm going to be out. I'm going to go back to listening to somebody else tell me all some of this crazy shit we're trying to figure out on here. Love you guys. Peace out.